Hi, welcome to the second in this series of how to use VegPlotter videos. Now, this in this video, we're going to cover off uh, how to add your beds and structures to the plot and lay it out uh, ready for your plantings to go in. So, the first, what I'm just going to do is move over to the um, brand new plot we created, our waterside allotment. Now, to create beds, we have a bed menu over here on the right. Now if you hit that you get two options, you get rectangular bed or irregular shaped bed. Now uh, rectangular is simple enough, you drag over the image onto the plot and that will put a rectangular bed on there for you. Now you can control the size of it with these handles, so the, the width or the height. And you can also control the rotation, so just with this circle at the top. And that works on tablet or mobile. Uh, just tap or, or click, whatever's easiest. Now you can also control the size if you know the exact size over here on the right in the bed details menu. So whenever you click on a bed, the plot details will open, the bed details or the plant or the structure details will open for that item that you've selected. So I know this one is going to be two meters by two meters. Now one thing to note before I move on is you don't have to use meters. If you uh, have taken your measurement in feet, you could just write six feet. Six feet by six feet. Hit update, and that will automatically update it to the uh, convert the measurement for you. Um, but as I said before, I know this one is six is two meters. Whoops. 2 meters by 2 meters and the rotation I'm going to keep uh, it level so I'm just going to change that back to zero now but if I hit update that puts it back 2 meter by 2 meters for me now I'm going to create another one the same size and do exactly the same thing 2 meters by 2 meters rotation zero and just line them up by dragging there we go, two rectangular beds. Now, the regular bed works slightly differently. If I drag one of those on, you can see it's a bit of a funny shape. And let's put this down here. Now, irregular beds work and structures work slightly differently. If you click on it, you can still get the handles, but you can drag these out. It doesn't drag out the same shape as, as a rectangular does. It just pulls out the points. So, I'm going to do a funny shape bed here. Just pick out any old bed shape. Now, as you can see, I'm dragging out the sort of um, fully formed squares. You can also, if you want to create a new point, you use these translucent sort of see through points, and that will create a new one for you. If you make a mistake, say you drag this out here and you think, oh, I really don't want that one then you can just either double tap on mobile or tablet with your finger or double click on the uh, mouse to de delete a point and that will delete it for you so you can go right down to you know, create triangles using this one you can create whatever shape you like really and there's no limit on the number of points if you want to make it nice and smooth and all sorts of funny wiggly shapes now the other thing to note about beds is you can set the row direction for each bed individually. So here you can see with the arrow I've got some funny diagonal row direction probably not going to be worthwhile but in fact I'm going to have that one going that way and this one I'm going to have going vertically. The uh, irregular shaped bed I'm just going to follow the line of this side here when I create my rows and then when you add your plantings it'll be set to those defaults but you're not set when you add your plantings, which will come into the, in the next video. But it's just a, a, a useful default way to set which direction your plants are going to go when you add them to the beds. Now, structures work in the same way as beds, but you need the structures menu. Now, one thing to note, you can't alter your beds. See, I'm clicking on these and nothing's actually being selected uh, until you're actually on the bed menu. That's to prevent, when, you're, when you've created your plot and your layout, you're mainly going to be in the planting menu. 
and it's to prevent you accidentally dragging your um, your beds around um, when you're trying to drag your plants. So we're going to add some structures. Now with the structure menu you've got this filter here so you can type in shed if you wanted to add it in shed and that allows you to drag on a shed and the same way you do for beds you can control the size by dragging or entering it here on the on the right. Now you can also add paths so let's find the paths. Now we have a various selection of um, path material so you can have concrete slabs for patios or paths, uh, crazy paving, gravel, uh, wood now they work in the same way as the irregular shaped beds. You can drag them on. Say you wanted to add a path in between these two beds. And we can just pull the handles till we get them into the point we like. So I'm going to have that one down there, that one down here. In fact, we're going to go all the way around this bed. Now remember, the see-through points you can drag to pull those out. So let's do one down to there and then we can pull one out over here. And one out over here. And remember, if you create one by accident, double click and that deletes it for you. And there we go, we've created a, a path around our beds. Okay, so that's adding plants and structures. In the next video, we cover off how to add your plants.